Bob, it's Travis. Is this Travis, like the Travis Barker from Blake 182? The Travis Barker. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm waiting for summer so I can um, get a little tan on my white body and see Blink-182. <laughs> nice. Yeah, man, it's been a bit. I, I can't remember the last time you guys were here in Maine. I did, uh, I did a little research. The Internet's letting me down, but I'm pretty confident it was back when you guys were still singing about frat parties and kegs and tequila and porn. Well, we're still going to sing about that, too. Well, I was going to ask. I'm hoping that there's still going to be some of that on the new album. You can't grow out of that, you know? You can't grow out of that. Oh. And if you do, that, there's something wrong with that. Yeah, then it's a problem. September 3rd, uh, Darling's Water from Pavilion up in Bangor. I'm so psyched for this show. Uh, if you didn't get the memo on this, Blink-182, A Day to Remember, All-Time Low, DJ Spider. Uh, tickets are going to go on sale tomorrow. However, if you're listening to me right now, you can go to WDCYY.com. There's a special pre-sale going on uh, right now, so you can get your tickets uh, a day early. Uh, so we get the new single in with the, uh, the, the exact same time of the announcement of the, uh, of the show. Did you time that out? Yeah, we did. You don't know how badly, you know, after we made this album, we were like, can we just release a single already? Like, you know, very excited from everything from the single to the artwork. You know, we've, we've been dying to share it with everybody. Dude, I'm so psyched. I love Bored to Death. It sounds good. We got uh, California coming out. That's the name of the album. It's going to be dropping on uh, the 1st of July. Uh, first album in five years, and your first uh, album with uh, Matt from Alkaline Trio. I imagine a longtime friend of the band. Yes, he is. Very longtime friend of the band. Uh, Blink has taken Alkaline Trio out with us uh, many of times, and, uh, and Matt is, you know, local out here in Los Angeles. You know, I'd always see him at my restaurant out here and, uh, you know, amongst friends like Toby H2O. And, and, you're, uh, and you're pumped about the record and the way it came out. Oh, the record is incredible. Like, I haven't been excited about a Blink-182 album since, probably since the self-titled album. Like, Neighborhoods was kind of a wash. Um, you know, we really weren't all in a studio making music together. Dogs Eating Dogs was a wash. This was, you know, every day from, like, 9 a.m. till 4 a.m., and it never felt like work. It was like, it was like creative overload. You know, everyone was having so much fun, and, you know, I think it was the first time in the history of Blink where we actually have, like, 28 songs where, where we got to pick 14. How did that go? <laughs> it was, that was the hardest part of the album, honestly, was, like, not fighting with each other, saying, look, I want these songs to make it. Right, right, right. Um, the new song, is, it's, uh, it's a little, un, you know, it sounds like Blink-182, but, like, adult Blink-182. No, nah, I mean, it just happens to be, I mean, not every song on an album is going to sound the same. And um, with that being said, I think, like, self-titled we got that a lot too man it sounds like a don't blink on any two not that that's a bad thing no no it's not it's definitely not a bad thing but it's just not like you know self-titled was extremely serious record yeah. you no know? yeah. um this isn't as serious as that album i'll tell you that absolutely so you're saying that the old school fans you're confident that they're going to dig the album there's everything like there's a there's something for everybody on this album like to me it feels like if you had to compare i had if I had to put in words to describe it, it's like Enema of the State meets the self-titled album with, you know, obviously happening now in 2016. So it's still very modern. Dude, right. you just you just fired me up, man. That's I'm sold right there. I'm excited. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Chat with Travis Barker, uh, drummer, Blink-182. Uh, September 3rd, Darling's Water from Pavilion. Uh, the band's going to be up in Bangor the first time in Maine in way too long. So it's going to be a great show. Um, but uh, I want to talk about Tom here real quick. Uh, according to him, there was, uh, there was something that, that was uh, out on the interwebs last week. You guys are still in touch quite a bit, you and him. Yeah, yeah, I talk to him a couple times a week. Like, you know, Tom's my friend, you know. It, Tom and I could get in a fist fight two days ago, and I don't have any bad blood. <laughs> you know, either does he. Like, mind you, it's never been that toxic. But, you know, there's never been anything that severe that's happened in a relationship where I'm like, I really dislike that guy. You right, know? it's a brother thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, think about it, man. It's so childish, you know. And I'm not really like a person to hold grudges or, or any stuff like that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, he's being kind of vague, but he was hinting last week that he he said that his blink days might not necessarily be over. What do you, what's your reaction to that? I mean, I'm, I, I I pretty much say the same thing. Like, I never say never, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I can never dictate what someone else is going to do you know a year and a half ago i didn't i couldn't predict that hey tom's manager is going to hit us and go hey he's on an indefinite hiatus he doesn't know if he's ever going to come back to the band <laughs> right 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 you just never know but you know i respect people's decisions and 
what they might have to do at different parts of their life. You know, life's too short to try to control someone or or uh, or try to think too much about you know why someone made whatever decision they made. So, you know, I respect everything he's done on his own. Like, and you know, I hope he respects everything we do on our own. And and we just remain supportive. And hopefully, the day comes where. Maybe we do play in a project together again or, or Blink or whatever, you know? Well, I'm psyched. Uh, we have a new album again. Uh, California is going to be dropping on the 1st of July. We have uh, the show up at Darling's Water from Pavilion 2 in Bangor. Uh, pre-sale, WCBY.com, official on sale tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to give away some free tickets right now. And, uh, and then I'm going to play the brand new song, which you have uh, probably heard by now on CBY. We're playing it quite a bit. It's awesome. It's called Bored to Death. Uh, Travis, thank you so much, man. I can't wait to see you guys in September, and uh, I appreciate the time. Thank you, man. I'll see you on tour.